the sightings that have happened in the last few years were not understood and that there was in fact a mystery you know about the objects that had been recorded of course everybody knows about the Nimitz you know the aircraft carrier but there are a number of other videos and so this time there is evidence and evidence at the highest level But uh, this is pretty special because yesterday the director of the Central Intelligence Agency said, uh, who, who is also the director of, of Central Intelligence, you know, for all the agencies, all the intelligence agencies, said that uh, the sightings that have happened in the last few years were not understood and that there was, in fact, a mystery, you know, about the objects that had been recorded. Of course, everybody knows about the Nimitz, you know, the aircraft carrier, but there are a number of other videos. And so this time there is evidence and evidence at the highest level. So it's a very exciting time. It's a turning point in, in the research. Excellent, excellent. And you've seen a lot of things change over the time period you've been studying all of this. Well, and I see that in you know, colleagues in science and in, uh, in finance who had always been skeptical, you know, yeah, Jacques, you know, maybe there's something there, but, you know, we don't know. But now they, they want to meet and they want to talk and they want to, uh, to hear about the de details and hear about the research. So that's um, what we're going to go into at this conference. I have so much respect for my father because he became the leading expert in the world on one of the most important questions ever to face mankind. That's a pretty strong legacy. So I both want to honor and respect that legacy and do what I can to maybe push it forward just a little bit more. This is one of the most important questions to face mankind and I was fortunate enough to grow up with UFOs. I don't know life without UFOs. And from a larger sense, just the inquisitiveness and the curiosity and the acceptance of things on the kind of fringy edges of science. My father liked the idea of taking a flashlight to the sort of borders of science and then dragging mainstream science along just a little bit further. And I think he did that. And now the society is very different. We have very different public stances on the part of the U.S. government in terms of information that they're disclosing with a lowercase d. I think my father would find that fascinating. And I feel now drawn to getting more and more active in the field and doing what I can from a slightly different point of view to help push things forward a little bit more, to get more information out, to get people to accept the phenomena and to delve deeply into potential interdimensional sources of some of the activity. I think it's tangible now where I think that this disclosure UFO thing is, is something that we can almost you know touch and see and feel where before it was always on the horizon it was always next year and and it was always spoken about with hypotheticals where now the tone is different there's a tangible thing I think for the first time in my in my life I've been doing this for 50 years uh, I think this year is the year I think 2022 is the year I've said that now 40 times right this is the year man 1999 man this is this 2000 it's you know but I think that the uh, the responsibility has been pushed so far into Washington's direction uh, that they are now forced into responding. Uh, the community can't relax right now. It's exciting, but let's keep our foot on the gas. Let's keep the pressure on. The government's not going to reveal anything to us. It's our responsibility to put, keep the pressure on them and force them to tell us what they know. They're not going to volunteer secrets. They're not going to do that. They never will. 
Um, but it, it's up to us, and we have the opportunity, like never before, to force their hand. And and I think we're right there. Is that going to happen in, in 2022? The opportunity has never been like this before. And I think that this might might be the year.